Hello everyone. Uh, today we'll be focusing on little bit of asana practice uh, followed by breathing and tranquilizing practices. So this can be done by everybody, uh, including a beginner, elders, children if they have the patience for it. So anybody can take part in this video. Uh, so just to keep few things in mind, I'm using a shawl as a belt. So elders uh, who have uh, mobility issues with knee uh, can have a belt or any shawl that you have at home can be used uh, as a prop. And for sitting, take a spot where you can lean back. So just in case if you need support for your back, be close to a wall or you might need a small bolster. So I am using a small cushion just to give a lift to my hip. So just try out, you can have a bolster, you can have a pillow, you can have a cushion. If you can't sit down, then have a chair. Okay? So certain asanas we will be doing standing. I will give modifications where even elders can practice. There will be no complicated asanas. The asanas will be used only to open up the joints of the body. Post with you will sit for breathing practices. Breathing practices will also be very simple. So we are not doing any strenuous breathing practice. Having said that, during the practice at any point if you feel dizzy, breathless, any pain in your abdomen, any pain in your chest, take it very slow. You can switch to normal breathing. Just have a count of three for your inhale. You are inhaling three, two, one. Exhaling three, two, one. So at any time if there is discomfort in breathing or even sitting, you can sit on the chair or sit down. Focus on only breathing in for three counts and breathing out for three counts. Uh, having said that, <clears throat> if you think that you are not able to continue with the practice, just lie down in Shavasana. You can keep the video on till it goes. Keep listening to the instructions, you don't have to do anything about it. Just lie down in Shavasana with eyes closed, moving awareness to either your chest center or your eyebrow center. Okay. We will begin the practice lying down onto the mat. First few seconds in Shavasana, separate the feet slightly, hands slightly away from you. Tuck the chin towards your chest, eyes closed. Start observing your body. Observe every point of contact of your body with the floor or mat. Moving awareness to your feet, start relaxing your feet, calf muscles, thighs, buttocks, lower back, middle back, upper back. Take a long breath in, let the tummy and the chest expand. Exhale through your long. Inhale deep breath in, exhale, inhale, exhale. For the next 30 seconds, awareness with your nostrils. Just observe the natural flow of breath in and out through your nostrils. Slowly opening your eyes. We'll join the feet together, bringing the right knee to chest. So use both hands and slowly start bringing the right knee towards your chest or the right shoulder. Right foot pointing towards you. As you're inhaling, let the tummy expand. 
and exhale coming moves down. Five more breaths here. Keep the left leg engaged, left thigh is tight, left foot also pointing towards it. Releasing the right leg, stretch the right leg out, left knee to chest. So both feet pointing towards you, right thigh tight. Inhale, tummy expands. Exhale, tummy contracts. Bring both knees to chest. Those who can wrap the hand nicely around. If you can hold on to the opposite elbows, hold on. Otherwise, just hold on to your knee. Tighten both your legs. Exhale, bringing your forehead to me. Pavana Mukta. Breathe comfortably. We'll stay here for five. Four. Three. Releasing your shoulders down, keep the knees bent, bringing the feet on that. <clears throat> the feet separated, hip width apart, toes are pointing forward, hands by the side of your body. Awareness towards your legs, press feet firmly, use the strength of your legs to lift the thighs and the body. Strong legs, moving awareness to the center of your chest. Five deep breaths in here. slowly releasing your hip down. Let the knees be bent itself. We'll stretch the right leg out. First few seconds you can point the toes out or probably just point it out, point it in, see how you feel. And you can hold on to the thigh, any place that's accessible behind your leg with both your hands. Regular practitioners can try and hold on to the heel. Others just hold on to the thigh, work on tightening your right thigh and pointing the right foot towards you. And keep pressing the hips down. We'll stay here for five. Keep pressing the hips down. Right thigh tight. Four. Three. Two. One. Keep holding on to the leg. Stretch the left leg onto the floor. In toes pointing up. Breathe. Three. Two. And one. Both knees bent. Feet on mat. <coughs> so press the low back down. Hold on to the left thigh. And point the toes out. So point and flex. And pointing the foot towards you. Tighten left thigh. Low back pressing down firmly. Breathe. Five. Four. Three. Two. Keep holding on to the thigh or any place of the leg that's accessible to you. Stretching the right leg onto the floor. 
breathe three. Two. And one release. Hug your both knees to chest. Roll towards any one side. Coming up to seated. <coughs> we'll keep the knees slightly bent. Toes pointing up. So if the tummy comes in between, separate the feet slightly. Otherwise, joining your feet together. Pressing your sit bones down. Inhale, lengthen spine. Lift chest up. Exhale, bring the chest close towards your thighs. And hold on to the top of the feet. If that's not accessible, you can use the shawl, wrap it around your feet balls of the feet, hold on it nice and tight, stretch the spine. Now only if you are comfortable here, see if you can move the heel forward, start pressing the thighs, calf muscle down. This is just an option, you can always be here with the knees bent, straight spine. Those who are used to the practice, getting into the full practice, bringing the head down. Breathe. Five. Keep lengthening spine. Four. Three. Two. And one release. Bending both knees, holding on to the thigh, toes pointing up. The straight spine, lean back. You see how you feel. Elders, be mindful. You can choose to just stop here. The minute you feel tightness in your belly, stay. Others, lifting your heels off, stretch both your arms. If you can't stretch your arms out, hold on to the thigh. You can probably stretch one arm out. Lower abdomen in. Breathe. Five. So using your chest to breathe in and out. Four. Three. Two and one. Cross ankles, palms down. So walk your hands forward, forehead down. If this is uncomfortable, palms on knees, just bring the chest one step down. Coming back, second round of Navasana. You can hold on to the thigh, lean back, lifting the heels off. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Again, cross the other ankle. Palms on knees, bring the chest up. Only if you are comfortable, stretching your arms up. If you are not able to sit down, sit on the chair and just bring the chest close to the thighs. And slowly walking your hands back. Sit in simple cross leg. Those who can sit in half lotus, sitting in half lotus. Those who can't sit down, sitting on the chair, just ensure that both your feet are pressing onto the floor. So, left palm onto the right knee, right fingertips behind you. Inhale, lengthen spine, exhale, twist. Those who are using the chair, left palm onto the knee, right hand you can hold on to the chair and twist. Looking over your right shoulder, breathe. Three, two, and one. Come back to center, switch sides. Three, two, and one. Coming back to center. Just join the soles of the feet together. Hold on to the feet. So you can move it either closer. If you can sit up straight, move it closer. If you can't sit up straight, move it slightly up. Inhale, stretch the spine up. 
and we just going to flap our feet. So those who can bring it closer and bring it closer, flapping with me. Okay, that's my hip making a lot of noise. Sitting up straight, flapping up and down. Elders who can't do this, just lie down onto the floor, join the soles of the feet together and you can flap, do the same movement lying down. Breathe 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1 release. Let's come on to all fours for a few cat postures. Onto your knees and palms. Those who can't come onto the knees and palms can still sit on the chair. We are sitting on the chair. Palms on knees. When you are doing cow, arch your back. When you are doing cat, round your back. Others, onto all fours. Knee hip in one line and your wrist, shoulder is in one line. Toes are tucked in. Inhale, belly down, chest and head up, looking up. Exhale, round your back. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, press the chin against your chest, inhale, looking at your eyebrow center, exhale, look at your nose still, inhale, eyebrow center, exhale, no step. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Holding the breath in. Gaze at eyebrow center. Five. Four. 3, 2, 1, exhale, round your back, tummy in, chin to chest, hold breath out, gaze at nose tip, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, inhale, deep breath in, hold breath in, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, exhale, nose tip, Hold breath out. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale. Hold. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Exhale. Hold breath out. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Two more rounds at your own pace. Come back to neutral spine. Let's bring hip down. Stretching the legs up. Bend the left knee. Right leg is stretched up. Toes pointing up. Inhale, lift both arms up. Exhale, fold forward. So if you can't bend easily, just wrap the belt around the right foot. Hold on to the belt nice and tight. Lengthen spine. And slowly you can start walking your hands closer towards your right foot. If you can't do this seated, you can do this lying down. Stretch both legs out. Repeat the same practice that we did in the beginning of the class. Every time you inhale, stretch the spine. Exhale, squeeze your tummy. Press it against your right thigh. Breathe. Five. Gaze at your right big toe. Four. Three. Two 
and one. Inhale, chest up, release. Other side, right knee bends, left leg stretch. Up. Inhale, stretch, exhale, fold. Then gaze at your left, big toe. Five, long breaths out, four, three, two, and one, lifting the head up, release. Let's come up to standing. You might not be able to see my head, but that's okay. We'll do simple balancing posture, Vrikshas. <coughs> So joining the feet together, you can use wall support. We bend the left knee, bringing it either all the way up or anywhere on your right leg but the knee. So don't place it on the knee. Those who have flat foot, stay close to the wall, use wall support. Elders, use wall support. Once you have found balance, then you can explore lifting both your arms. Fix the gaze at one point. Those who are used to the practice, see if you can look at your nose tip. Palms in front of chest. Release. Switch sides. <coughs> Bend the right knee. We strengthen legs. Tummy in. Once you found balance, lift in both arms. If you're still losing balance, look down at one point. Gaze at your nose tip. See how you feel. back to seated. So either sitting down or sitting on the chair. Interlacing fingers, stretch both your arms. Now press your hips down, lengthen spine, shoulders down. Breathe five, four, three, two, and one, lean towards your right side. Keep pressing the hip down. You can do the same practice on the chair. Just keep the legs grounded. Stretch arms out. Breathe. Three. Two. One. Come back to center. And bend towards the left side. Keep pressing the hips now. Breathe. Three. Two. And one release. Hold on to your knees with your palms. Just shrug your shoulders towards your ears. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale down. Last one to hold. Inhale, deep breath in. Whole breath in. Moving your chin to chest. Chin up, exhale. Relax your shoulders. Make three circles with your shoulders in one direction. Keep breathing normally. Reverse. Three circles in the other direction. Shake your hands off. Then do a simple twist. Any tension in the lower back, let go of it. We'll start out with our breathing practice. So choose either sitting down, close to the wall, use a bolster, make yourself comfortable. So for the next couple of minutes, we'll be seated. 
एनीटाइम इफ द लेग स्टार्ट पेनिंग लाइट ऑन और यू कैन बी ऑन द चेयर दोस्तों सिटिंग ऑन द चेयर बोथ फीट ग्राउंडेड ऑन द फ्लोर टोस आर पॉइंटिंग फॉरवर्ड सो यू माइट हैव टू कम टू द मिडिल ऑफ द सीट और एड ऑफ द सीट पाम्स ऑन नीज फर्स्ट वन मिनट जस्ट टू फोकस ऑन द ब्रेथ सो सिट अप स्ट्रेट शोल्डर्स रिलैक्सड चिन पैरल टू फ्लोर just look down at your nose tip for a second and gently close your eyes watch your body make any movements you feel like making now tall spine relaxed shoulders relaxed face moving awareness to your nostrils for the next 30 seconds just watch your right and the left nostril closely if you sense any stiffness in the body see if you can mindfully relax especially hips thighs shoulders jaws forehead take a long breath in Exhale out slowly. Opening your eyes. We'll do simple alternate nostril breathing. We'll do three rounds of it. First round, I will be cueing you in. Second two rounds, I'll just cue you in for the beginning and the end. Okay. So we'll use the right hand. Just be mindful about the video. The video is a mirror image. So I'm using my right hand. You might. Feel like I'm using my left. Okay, so right hand, thumb to close the right nostril, index ring finger to place it between your eyebrows, and the ring finger to close the left nostril. Okay, first round we'll keep the eyes open. Sit up straight, shoulders are relaxed. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out fully. Let's close the right nostril. Place the other two fingers in the eyebrow center. Exhale through left. Inhale through left. Same side. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale three, two, one. Inhale three, two, one. Exhale three. Two, one. Inhale, three, two, one. Exhale, three, two, one. Switch sides. We'll close the left nostril. Exhale out through right. Inhale through right. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Three, two, one. Exhale. Three, two, one. Inhale. Three, two, one. Exhale. Three, two, one. Inhale. Three, two, one. Exhale. Three. Two, one. Closing your left nostril. Eyes closed. Repeat the same practice. Five breaths through left nostril and then right nostril. Three is the count. So inhale for three counts. Exhale for three counts. Starting practice now. Exhale out through left. Eyes closed.
once you're done with five on the left side switch to right subtle breathing no force in the nostrils face relaxed forehead relaxed Once you're done with right nostril, switch to left. This time make the count four. Exhale through left. Inhale left. Four, three, two, one. Exhale left. Four, three, two, one. Five more breaths in left. Then switch to right. So done with five breaths. Switch to the right side. Count is four. Once you're done with five rounds, dropping your right palm down, eyes closed. Just watch your breath. And let the tummy move in and out comfortably. Gently opening your eyes. The second breathing practice. We'll make a fist, thumb inside, other four fingers outside. So what we're going to do is, <clears throat> when you're going to inhale, you're going to take a deep breath in for four counts. So inhale four. Tighten your arms and the fist and your upper body. Exhale for four counts. So relax your shoulders and the arms. Let go of the fist. Just show it once. Inhale, 4, 3, 2, 1. We hold it for a few seconds. Exhale, 4, 3, 2, 1. So when you're inhaling, you're sitting up straight, but you're tensing your upper body, shoulders, arms, and the fist is tightened. When you're exhaling, you're going to relax the effort, but you're still sitting straight. So we'll keep the count as 4, 4, 4. Inhale 4 counts. Hold for 4 counts. Exhale 4 counts. First 2 rounds I will be cueing you in. The next 5 rounds at your own pace. Okay. If closing your eyes is making you anxious, you can look down at one point to soften your gaze. Just look down at one point. It's as though the eyes are closed but you're still you know, gazing at one point without blinking. Exhale out fully. Make a fist. Inhale. Four, three, two, one. 
hold, exhale release the fist, 4, relax your chest, 3, 2, 1, inhale 4, 3, 2, 1, hold, 4, 3, 2, 1, exhale relax, 4, 3, 2, 1, Inhale, 4, 3, 2, 1, hold, 4, 3, 2, 1, exhale, 4, 3, 2, 1. Five more rounds at your own pace. Once you're done with five rounds, just drawing the tip of the index and the thumb finger, and placing the palm down, you're turning the palm around. Straight spine, relax your shoulders, moving awareness to your eyebrow center. Sitting still for the next 30 seconds. Gently opening your eyes. On last practice, post which we will be lying down in showers. So we will be using Shanmugi Mudra. So it's withdrawal of senses here. Just like Brahmari. So we use Shanmugi Mudra for Brahmari practice. We will not be doing Brahmari here. We will not be making the humming sound. Rather, we will take a deep breath in, holding the mudra. Hold the breath in and exhale out. Hold the breath out. Inhale. So you can keep a count of three. Three for inhale <clears throat> and three for holding, three for exhale. If holding breath before and after breath, after breathing, if it becomes difficult, skip. You don't have to hold the breath. So inhale, inhale for three counts, hold it for a second and exhale for three counts. Hold it for a second. Others can hold it for three and three. So inhale for three counts, hold it for three counts, exhale for three counts, hold it for three counts and inhale. So I'll show the mudra, thumb to close the ears, your index finger to close your eyes, middle finger to apply pressure in the edge of your nose, so as though you are trying to close your nose as well, and the remaining two fingers to seal your lips, so up and down you are going to seal your lips. Basically this is just an indication or a gesture to withdraw our senses and taking the awareness within. Okay? So I will repeat the uh, instructions because I will be leaving you uh, at your own pace for five rounds. So you are going to inhale for 3 counts with the mudra, hold for 3 counts, exhale for 3 counts, hold for 3 counts. Okay. First round, I will go with you. After that, do 5 rounds. Once you are done with 5 rounds, palms on your knees, straight spine, eyes closed. Let's get into the practice. 
and any time the elbow starts hurting just close your ears and you can breathe it you don't have to keep the elbow up straight while you do the set if it starts hurting elbows down just close your ears that's more than enough let's close the thumb eyes nose and the lips take it elbows pointing to the side exhale out fully inhale 3 2 1 1 hold 3 2 1 exhale 3 2 1 hold 3 2 1 at your own pace five more rounds Once you're done with five rounds, release your palms on knees, index thumb touching each other, eyes closed. Observe body stillness. Relax your tummy completely. With very gentle movements, lie down onto the mat, in Shavasana, keeping the eyes closed. Let the body settle down, and moving awareness back to your nostrils. Let's observe how you felt in the beginning of the practice, and now. Let the eyes remain closed, watching your subtle breath, slow, long breaths in and out, and every exhale is helping you relax the body more. Every exhale is making your body heavy, making your eyelids heavy.
awareness back to the body, back to the breath. Let the eyes remain closed. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out fully. Start moving your toes, fingers gently. Move your head from side to side. Join your feet together, stretch arms over your head. Interlace fingers, palms out. Inhale, hold breath in and give a good stretch to your body. And release. Hug both knees to chest. Roll to the right side and stay curled up for the next few seconds. Fetal position, relax your body, enjoy your breath. Coming up to seated with eyes closed. Simple cross leg. Arms in front of chest. Ending practice with a short prayer. You can join me if you know the prayer. Otherwise just listening to the chant. Take a breath in. practicing today. I suggest you repeat the practice once more since you know what happens in the breathing practice. It's going to be even more smoother and calmer. Have a good day. I'll meet you all again soon. Take care.